Hello Makers, welcome back. Today I thought I would look at something that I haven't ever tried before. Concrete. <laughs> so I was given this as a gift at Christmas from a friend who knows that I like to make stuff and she said to me, I hope you haven't tried this one before. No, no I haven't. So this is the Sandy Leaf Farm Geometric Concrete Candle Making, no Candle Holder making kit. Sorry, there's a lot of words on the front here. You get to make three of these little candle holders. Um, I've tried plaster casting before, which uh, has sort of similar elements to it, but I've never tried concrete. No, I have not. And I thought I'd take you along with me if you'd like to see what in heck happens. Let's go to the overhead and see what we've got in the box. Okay, so because I got the instructions out to have a look to see what I needed beforehand, um, I then also got this out. So you get this little instruction sheet inside, which has all these little stages on the back, which is what we're going to be doing. And then we also have this, which is the Sandy Lee Farm little flyer. And that's all their details if you want to check them out. Let's open the box properly. So, okay. So this is what you see inside. So we get three little small molds, which I believe go uh, to create the indent, which the candle is going to go into. We have the three larger outer molds, which the concrete will go into. We have concrete. <gasps> My own bag of concrete. Should, should I be excited about that? Weirdly I am. Um, and what else? What else? What's this about? Are they gloves? Hmm. Well, I'll look at that in a sec. Um, and a spoon. Let me just, let's just check what this, what this is, if I can. Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay, right, there we go. Is it a glove? It's a glove, okay. You get three gloves, one for every mold. Oh, oh, it's like a proper, I was thinking you just got one glove inside each one, so you put the hand in for each one, but you get a pair of gloves for every mold. Let's look at our instructions. So, Lay down some newspaper in the area to protect your surface. Um, I should have perhaps done that. Okay, I'm back and I've put this manky piece of black paper down. <laughs> I didn't want to waste a new bit of paper. Um, and I thought like newspaper it might not show up very well against. So here we are. This is what we're working with. Um, so I've been away and I read through the instructions and I realised that I needed a measuring jug. So I've got one of those. And I also needed to divvy up, divvy up, uh, divide up <laughs> the um, the concrete powder into three. So that's what I've done with the help of a scale in the kitchen. Right. So this is a third of the concrete from that pouch is in each one, which is about forty-five grams. So it looks like this. So. We have our three. And now we pour 15 millilitres of water into each of these moulds. I've got my jug. Now I think, yeah, this jug starts at 50. So I'll just have to guess it a little bit and just kind of go a little bit under, I suppose. And I should, I suppose I should be, I should put my glove on just in case. I somehow get concrete on my fingers and then like what what happens with that? I don't know the consequences. <laughs> mm. They want to know the consequences. <laughs> can you just can we just ooh noise? Right, okay. Let's try the first one then. Let's move some of these aside just in case this one goes horrendously wrong. So pour this in. Is this gonna is this gonna fit? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no, it does. It does just. Right, let's get the spoon. Oh, it's like, oh my God, it's steaming. I don't know whether you can see the steam. I've got to kind of stir this until it gets not lumpy, but like, how are you supposed to stir it without it all coming out the top? Oh my gosh, I don't know whether you can see the steam coming off of it. I mean, I suppose that makes, oh my goodness, it's so gloopy at the bottom that I don't know whether or not it's like, it's going too quick for me to, oh no, here we go, here we go. I've got a bit of a, ah, okay. I have purchase <laughs> on, the, on the bottom bit. Okay, it's getting a bit smoother. Oh, it's like a weird sort of potion making. It does say in the instructions, remember to scrape the bottom because you can feel when you're when you're moving like stirring around, you can feel where the lumps are and if there's anything stuck on the base of it which feels lumpy. Now that feels pretty smooth to me. It's like chocolate or yogurt or something. Right, so now I think we tap the mould. Oh, let's move those away because I'm just going to tap everything. Right, so tap it against the hard surface to remove all the air bubbles. It says to do this for about a minute. Crikey. You do this sort of thing though with plaster casting. So I can see where they're coming from. I mean, maybe that was a minute. I don't know. It's uh, The time has disappeared for me. Right, okay. So then we take one of these ones and we put it into the centre of the concrete and push down. Do not push to the bottom. Gently tap to level out the concrete at the side. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like pressure to get it in the centre, isn't it? See, on the picture, it seems like... I'll show you, it seems like it's level on that picture, but mine is not level. But if I make it, oh my gosh. Oh no, Gemma, oh dear. Right, let's, I'm gonna get, I'm getting a weight to put in it. Oh. <laughs> Was that a good idea? Oh no. Oh, put your other glove on, Gemma. It's all going wrong. Right. Um, I don't know what's happening, guys. Oh, oh, bugger. Oh no, sorry, language. Ah. Right. You know what? I'm. You know what? I'm gonna leave that one <laughs> because. Um, oh, I feel like I've fiddled too much with it already. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put that over there. And um, ah, and we'll we'll move on. Is this <laughs> is this enjoyable? <laughs> because. Oh.
best I'm going to get it. We have to leave it to set for 24 hours. Okay, it is 24 hours later and here's our doodads. Is it done? I don't even know. So how do we get them out, do we think? Oh, I've just got some on my... Mm, I'm not sure they're done. I think that's still a bit wet. I'm going to leave it another day, I think. We'll come back tomorrow. It's so sunny. It's so sunny in here. Ooh. So, I have left these little cement things for a good few days now because the 24 hours was not enough. But I don't know whether or not it's just because this shed is very cold at the moment. So maybe like that was it. So I took them in to the house um, and let them sit in there for a bit, thinking that it was just a bit warmer, so it might help them. Um, so yeah, it's like they're dry now. The problem is I don't think I can get them out <laughs> of the moulds. Um, so this one, I, I, I was wrangling it for a while just um, inside just to just to see, uh, get a, a feel of whether or not things were sort of done. And I, I finally managed to get the inside out. But this bit is like, it's so firmly stuck inside. <laughs> I'm trying to push it out, but I can't do it. <laughs> um, so, and I mean, even if it does come out, <laughs> it's gonna be so ugly. <laughs> Cause look, that's the top rim of it. <laughs> Are you supposed to cut them out? I don't, like, how do you, how would you cut them out? It's really tough plastic. Let's try one of the other ones. <laughs> I feel like this is such a fail. <laughs> get some scissors and just get that under the lip at least. To, no, that doesn't. Does that help in any way? I mean, it's... Oh, no. Well, okay. So... Oh. <laughs> so have no clue. I feel like it, there's a miniature win in that, I'm covered in cement dust, <laughs> there's a miniature win in that the, the middles have at least come out. The massive, massive, very massive fail is that they are stuck forever <laughs> in the plastic pots. I don't know what to suggest. They're just, they're just so deeply in. Like, can you see? Like, there's n sort of like there's no crevice to to push it out from. And um, I mean, that's no doubt my fault. <laughs> like, I, I'm like I. But I, even if I, even if it had only been not all the way to the lip and just stopped at the kind of hexagony bit, still, how do you get your but like there's nothing, no way to kind of push it out, is there? So, I'm very sorry about this um, disappointing end to this. Um, if anybody is making concrete candle holders <laughs> um, and has more success, please do share with me. And if you have any thoughts about this, <laughs> please leave your comments down below. Um, if you've got any ideas how to get them out, please be forthcoming <laughs> because otherwise I think these will just have to stay in their little pots which is very sad isn't it anyway if you liked this video by some weird chance <laughs> um please give it a thumbs up it really does help to support the channel gives the video a little boosty boost and um, yeah, if you'd like to subscribe for more of this kind of content. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat. Anyway, I hope to see you soon with a future video. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye for now.